Hey guys, Katrina here, and today I'm joined by Kara Jenks from Project Runway All Stars. Hi guys. So, pleasure to have you here. Thank you. And now Kara has found herself in front of the judges yet again. Tell us a little bit about making that decision to go through with it again. First it was like, no, never, you gotta be crazy. And then I was yes. like, you can't miss these kinds of opportunities, yes, you know? Definitely. How is it compared to, you know, the judges we saw first time around to the judges and mentors now? Do you feel any difference there? I do feel a difference. Um, Tim has a lot of warmth and a different perspective than Joanna does, but I also mm -hmm. admire Joanna's perspective. She's very keyed into what's relevant and what's not and what's going on um, currently. Um, you know, I love Nina and I love Michael, so it, um, you know, Heidi's fantastic too. But you know, you kind of just, um, you open yourself up to a bigger community of designers yes, and you, really. it's amazing. And now tell us what's in store coming up on the season. Any crazy challenges? Well, we have a six hour challenge coming up. <gasps> So you got to understand wow. that six hours in TV land is about four and a half hours. That sounds pretty insane. It's pretty insane. Just think getting on a flight from here to, I don't know, uh, Jamaica, and you have to design a dress in that entire time. So yes. it's really intense. And now tell us a little bit about the whole process. How long you guys were there for? Are these challenges back to back? You know, we have a five week period that we go into the show. Everything is back to back. Every two days we presented with a challenge. And then the entire process is filmed in this five week period over the summer. Um, and the, the fashion show is not actually taking place on New York Fashion Week. It's actually happened. The production is done. Yeah. It's like lock, stock and barrel. We finish. We know who the winner is. You've got to understand that it's like this really it is a pressure cooker yeah. and you really like on you've got to be on 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 point mm -hmm. 24 7. I can't imagine what it's like working so closely <laughs> with people again just in that workroom under the pressure and sharing the machines did you learn anything going into it the first time that you think you've used to your benefit obviously second time around? I don't know that you learn things that can translate over. I obviously knew what I'm, I was getting myself into. Yes. You're a lot more comfortable with the notion of being in front of a camera because you're not really like... Um, but, you know, you just have a lot of respect for the designers around you and you realize that being on television has its consequences. So you're just more sensitive to the things that you yeah. say and do, you know. So, I, you know, I just... Um, you do share machines and you just... and you compromise. There's a lot more compromise this time around with designers. You watched a friend go home, Sweepy. What is it like watching a friend go home? It's devastating. I mean, you know, you guys... like, everybody asks me, like, do you really form these friendships? I mean, we are, we are on lockdown. We have nothing else. We have no TV, no, no internet, no magazines. We... in each other's pockets 24-7. You really learn a lot about someone and you lean on each other for that emotional support and when Sweepy went home we had already spent a good week maybe together um, and I love her so I don't you know we all want the best for each other it's a weird yeah. scenario and now we opened the questions up to you guys on Twitter and Facebook Kara is on Twitter at Kara Jangs so Kara why don't you tell us a little bit about your thoughts on plus size fashion well, you know, I, I designed this signature kimono dress that I, yes. I, I've i been selling since it aired <laughs> on TV um, on a daily basis. And I think it really flatters the everyday woman. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we've graded it up now to a size 16 or 18. Wow. So I think that really just yeah. accommodates a plus size. Um, but the kimono is for every girl. So I encourage you to get the kimono because I feel like once you get one color, you can get hundreds. And now I don't think our viewers know so much about your contemporary line because someone asked about designing clothes for the normal girl, which is something you do. So why don't you <laughs> tell us a little bit about that line? Um, I mean, I sell to stores like Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth Avenue and Bloomingdale's, which is great. I mean, that's yes. just, you know, these are dresses. You know, the thing is that the more we get, you know, the brand out there, the more you'll become aware of it. I think that's part of the premise of going on TV. Yes, so you guys know where to get my normal dresses. So, um, you know, a lot of stuff online. You can check it out, corajangs.com. Um, to see the normal stuff. And now, one last question to bring it back to the show. Did you have a favorite challenge this season? Well, I can't tell you that because we don't it know how far I got. Oh, okay. um, but you know, uh, I always love the unconventional challenge, yeah. especially being the first challenge of the season where you're like, oh, really? You don't want to go into a fabric store. This was fantastic. Yes. It really got the ball rolling. Well, we'll tune in. And for that stuff that Kara couldn't tell us about, you'll have to check back each week for her recaps on Hollywood Life. 
follow her on Twitter at Cara Jenks for live reactions and for all your news, gossip, style, beauty, and more. Keep coming back to HollywoodLife.com.